I'm taking you with me to Walmart today and I just decided to put my camera out and just let it roll and I was so excited. You're not gonna believe what happened. Check it out. Doing my normal Walmart morning routine and they always put the smaller carts over here. I don't know why. Maybe it's a psychological thing. Do you think they want us to spend more money by using the big carts? I think that's what it is. I love these small carts. There's a reason why. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna go in and get a few items. If I use this small cart, then I'm not gonna fill it up. Makes sense, right? But they always put, they always put the small, bigger carts over here. It is what it is. So today, I don't know what I'm buying. I'm gonna buy something. But I do know that the kids need some chocolates. We're having a festival in the small town. Wow, 180 pieces. My goodness. I remember when a bag of candy used to cost like $10. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna go and try to figure this out get things done. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> My neighbor way, way across the bridge. I'm doing a documentary on yeah, that's what myself. I get in here. <laughs> this is Chris. Chris is from Texas. We're like one of the few that are here that are from Texas that's living in a small town in Oklahoma. Chris is my guy. From the very first day we've met, we hit it off. He works at Walmart and um, he's been there for maybe two years and somehow got to put Chris on staff. He is such a blessing. Uh, this guy is so amazing. I know uh, maybe it's a bromance thing, but him and I are like this. Every time our encounters in Walmart are special. I love seeing him. He makes me smile. He's laugh. He's funny. And today I tried to enter the world of YouTube with him and he could not believe that he can get online and do this and help other people smile. So hopefully we can get Chris going with some kind of YouTube channel. <laughs> you are funny, man. <laughs> hey, you know, we're having a, um, this weekend at, I think it's three o'clock, maybe four o'clock, five. Black Baron, because my wife is in part of that. I don't know why, because we live in Pawnee. It's just right across the street, Thor Rock. But we're having a trunk a treat or something. Really? Yeah, lots of candies and all that. No, at the Blackburn School. There's a school? See what I'm saying? There's a Blackburn School. But it's not a school anymore. It's been broke down since 1940 or something. Uh, <laughs> 69, I think that's what it was. But yeah. Yeah, but um, they're having that. So if you get your kids or your wife to bring your kids. Where the park is? It's the park. Okay, most people call it the park, but that's a school. I did not know that. Ain't that right? See, I'm going to tell her that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'll come back tomorrow and let you know what town it really is. But yeah, they're going to have, we've got, They. she does town meetings, does a newsletter for them and all that. And so, of course, I got to be a part of it. So the story to that is my wife and her girlfriends, which are part of this prayers group, and they decided to make this small town relevant again. I mean, of course we have farming here. We farm here. We've got three other farmers that are doing things. And I think their goal is to actually bring back traffic here, do farmer's market and things like that. So they are doing a trunk or treat for the kids this weekend. It's, it's a neat thing. You know, I'm busy with other stuff. And it's like I'm always getting included to do things. But it's for a great cause. It really is. Um, the children around here are not, let's just say they're a lower income. Um, this is the lower income area. And some of these people living in trailers and they've been living in trailers all their life. And um, the one great thing I can say about these children around here is they don't have cell phones. They don't have many video games. They play outside. And that is so different. Like 
going out to the river and and playing in the river while you know most kids would be stuck on their phone glued watching TikTok or something or YouTube <laughs> you know but these kids are very respectful you're talking about when you talk to them it's yes sir yes ma'am yes sir yes ma'am over and over again now don't get it twisted you have some little hoods hood rats I grew up in the hood rats <laughs> I can say that <laughs> that are not like that, but they are still good kids. They really are. And it's just something that my wife and her girlfriends decided to put on. So all the husbands have to take part, partake in that, you know, because they come up with the ideas and I guess where the muscles and everything else. So that's the backstory on that. Well, let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm over there in uh, Osage County. I know, right? <laughs> right across the bridge. <laughs> yeah, um, it's funny because she had bought some veggie chips. I thought, who's gonna eat veggie chips? I was like, let me go find these kids some real candy. <laughs> You're like, what, kid? Yeah, I was like, I was like, I was like, did you taste them? She goes, yeah, I was like, good, because you're going to have a lot left. You're not going to pull that. Oh, man. No, I see that for my kids there. Once all the babies, like, were more than, like, the older ones, though. All the kids are going to be like... Baby chips. It's sugar time, you know what I mean? All right, buddy, talk to you soon. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is why I come to Walmart every day. I've learned that... There's a lot of good people in the world. This is one of my guys. He lives like two and a half miles across the bridge from me. And I love to talk to him every single day. It's great. So, I don't even know what I was talking about, but when I come to Walmart, I always try to buy just certain things. And we're gonna call this the blog, the vlog. Did I eat ramen? I don't eat ramen. I make my own type of ramen. Um, truth be told, I'm part Asian. I'm not, but I feel like I am because all I want is Asian food and Thai food. Isn't that crazy? No, it's not crazy. I mean, hey, we have chopsticks that I use all the time. <laughs> it is what it is. I think I've been, you know, I'm supposed to be eating this. <laughs> I'm supposed to be eating that, but yeah. I choked one time, my grandpa laughed at me and um, that was the last time I ate any type of greens. And um, God, I missed that guy, he was so hilarious. I think that's where I get my craziness from, but I choked on that. I was sitting at the dinner table and I always would sit with him and eat he came in he always had the good food you know and one day i was like oh what are you eating papa you eat the greens boy it was mustard greens not like that that's in a can but um i had so much that it went down my throat it was stringy and i had to pull it out sorry for that so graphically i choked and he just laughed what's so funny about that story my grandpa was the type of guy that if we were like in Walmart today, he'd probably get arrested for this, but he would go behind people and he would do this. He would touch their, their hip or their back and go goose. And they would jump and he would just laugh. I would laugh. They would laugh. You're talking about this was in the 1977 area no seven two three four five six seven i would say 1980 era and uh where people didn't get offended by the craziness that go on these days and he was just so joyous his heart was full of joy what was sad is he uh had alzheimer's and it would just crush my heart every time i would go see him at the um nursing home because i you know this is the guy he was a father figure um he taught me how to drive and um, he picked me up from my first job. It was like seven, eight miles away. And he would pick me up, take me home. Um, he just was a father to me. And to see him 
in that state of not knowing who I was, it crushed me. Oh man, it crushed me. Like I would always have to remind him who I was. What boy, are, you know, whose baby are you? Cause he knew he had kids and I would tell him. And it's like, I was always by his side when he would be uh, in his um, room. He would, I remember in 19, it was about 82. He had like six TVs lined up watching different channels. <laughs> He had the picture in the picture back then. It was crazy. And my grandma used to be like, why do you have all these TVs all over the place, you know? But God, I miss that guy. Miss that guy. You know, if you have a grandparent right now or grandmother and who possibly have Alzheimer's or whatever or don't, love all them right now. Love on them because, you know, the stories that you can, you know, you're going to have later on to tell, I mean, it kind of makes you reminisce. I mean, I... I miss my grandparents. I think they are the key to me being me. Man, I love them when I miss them. So if you have someone right now that's elderly, love on them right now. You'll never, ever regret it. Love on them right now because once they're gone, they're gone. And if you haven't talked to them, pick up the phone and call them right now. Tell them you love them. Just do that. All right. And that was the last time I ever, ever had any type of greens or that type of greens. But of course I eat green beans and stuff like that. But anyway, today I am just looking for some croissants and I think I'm gonna make her some pig in a blankets this morning. It's the, it's the birthday month. And so this month, this month I have to do like every different types of breakfast and dinners and take her out. Yeah, birthday month, don't get me started. I try to spoil my wife. Let me tell you, man, I used to have a big bump in the back of my head when I was younger. And uh, I was dating her at the time and she accepted my crazy self. <laughs> I mean, this bump, he would do this. <laughs> I got it removed, but I thought to myself, if I could pull a woman with a bump in my head, no, reverse. If this woman accepts me with a bump in my head, then I must be, she's a must keeper, right? But anyway, so we're gonna find some croissants, some crusty croissants, some butterflake croissants. We're gonna do uh, some Hawaiian type too, just to see. I never had those. Oh, did you know you can air fry these? I didn't know that. And we might give her some cinnamon rolls for tomorrow, cause she hasn't had that in a long time. I should do the other ones. You know what, we might go over here and look in the frozen aisle and get the other cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Walmart is different now. I mean, with inflation that's going up. I'm really choosy, really picky when it comes to buying stuff. And that's just in my genes. You know, when I was younger, we didn't have a ton of food. And when you have money, you had to be real careful on what you spent because, you know, there's a lot of kids in the family that had to eat. There was a lot of kids in the family. What's up? I know, right? We should do that. That should be a thing. Hey, you going to Walmart today? <laughs> See ya. Girl at the gym. Um, she works out. But yeah, I love this small town, folks. Like, I think this town that I'm in, because I drive 25 minutes to get here is like population maybe 5,000 maybe but to have the opportunity to talk to all these people it's great and I don't see there used to be some great cinnamon rolls by Mrs. Parker was that her name Sister Sherbet she used to have cinnamon rolls Ah, oh, there they are. I think. Nope, that's not her. They got rid of her. They always do. They got rid of her. That's sad. Anyway, what do y'all think about groceries? Is groceries one of those deals that's like getting ridiculous? I know it is. Uh, I'm sure where y'all live. Now we're into ice cream because she's been craving ice cream too. Every night after 
for dinner. She wants a special ice cream. And let me tell you what. Oh, oh no, Moose Cone is gone. Oh, that was her favorite. I think she ate all that. <laughs> I ain't lying, y'all. I already bought like one every other day for her. <laughs> She's like a whole one every two days or so. So we like ran through them. Wow. <laughs> they don't have any in the back either. Yep, I'm gonna have to give her something different now. I'm gonna have to try a waffle cone. Waffle cone, Hollander, she loves it. Not that one, but this one called Moose Tracks. And she loves her Moose Track. And maybe the Turtle Sunday. Let's get her to try the Turtle Sunday. And I don't try to buy a big thing of ice cream. I hope she doesn't watch this, but you know, she only goes Pilates like twice a, a week. <laughs> I need to edit that out. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> yeah, I need to edit that out. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying. Anyway, but that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is just me in Walmart trying to find some food for the day. And let me ask you this, because I come here almost like four days a week. My daughter does it too. And I don't like to buy just a lot of groceries that's gonna sit there. I got stuff that's been sitting in there for like two months in the freezer that I haven't eaten because I decided to go buy groceries. But now I'm like, I'm just gonna go and each day and if I feel like I'm in the mood like today I want this or for breakfast I want that I don't think I'm spending more money by doing that right because I know today I'm going to get this meal it's two meals at a time you know I can buy two meals for the day and be done like on Taco Tuesday if I want fajitas instead of or lasagna on Taco Tuesday I'll go do that I don't necessarily go buy Taco Tuesday just giving you a kind of example but yeah, that's what I do. That's why I'm at Walmart all the time because I want to eat my meals how on what I'm feeling that day. If I'm really cutting weight, I know it's gonna be chicken and rice or just chicken and green beans. But I'll try to do rotisserie versus chicken breast, thighs and all that, and I'll change it up. But anyway, what's your thoughts? Would you go to Walmart and every day if you could and buy a meal or whatever store or because we only have Walmart around here, by the way. Maybe you don't like Walmart. That's fine, I don't either. It is what it is. But I have to deal with the forces give me. Or would you just buy a lot of groceries and be done with it? I like to be around people. You might be one of those who don't like to be around people. Let me know. With that being said. Hey, thanks for watching. I'd like to thank you for spending the, the morning with me. I just finished at the gym and I go to Walmart and I buy my, um, groceries for the day i know it sounds kind of crazy but i always wanted to just you know live like if i want to even if i went and bought those groceries the wife might say hey take me to town i want some catfish or something and i always want to be able to do that and i just feel so blessed to have taken that opportunity and speaking of opportunities right now i just want to say if you've been thinking about doing something or you feel that you need to help someone, go ahead, take the plunge and do it because life is too short. Um, blessings is out there for everyone. And don't just think you're cursed or anything. No, change your thoughts, change your, your, your outlook, your thinking, and reprogram your brain and your universe to work for you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And um, we'll see you soon.